Hi everyone, it's Ileana. Thanks for coming by. I'd like to show you how to make this awesome card. I was so excited when it turned out and it is so super easy. I'm using a stamp set from Close to My Heart and it's called Dizzy Circles. And it kind of reminds me of the Spirograph set that you used to have as a kid. And so I'm gonna show you how I did this. First, I created a template on my silhouette just by using uh, a, an octagon and squares and I'll go ahead and create a download so that you're able to download this for free. What I'm doing is I put my stamp down so that the edge of the stamp is right on the center mark of the template. And I'm making sure that the stamp is centered from top to bottom as well so that it overlaps just the right way. And the squares that are in the middle, those are your um, square card sizes. They're, I started at three because we don't make cards smaller than three usually. And so you can do a three inch all the way up to a five inch. Um, that's as big as I could get the um, octagon to fit in the misty. So what I'm doing is that I took my cardstock and it's four and a quarter. I think it's four and a quarter. Yes, four and a quarter. And I just centered it over the square that's in the middle and I used a little bit of adhesive on the back. Now I'm going to take my Raspberry Fizz and I'm just going to stamp um, onto the cardstock. You just need to have your octagon, I keep forgetting what size that is, um, and you just need to rotate it until you've completed it. And I got this idea, someone had posted, um, it's been going around on Split Coast Stampers, there's a Cindy's template, and I tried to use um, that one and I did make a few cards using that one but I really wanted to have the ability to stamp different size um, cardstock to make my little square cards and some some way I'm gonna figure out how to do an A2 size card but um, not sure when that's gonna happen but look at how easy it is to just rotate and stamp and the center of the card is just so perfect and you don't have to hide it you can just leave it as it is and I'm sure that by using different shapes like a pentagon or a hexagon that you would get different results but I just thought this was so unbelievably cool and it's so easy and in three minutes you're it's done, but um, I kind of wanted to take it another step further, and so I'm going to go back and I'm going to um, use Versamark. And one thing I can suggest is to be sure you mark somewhere on your octagon so that you know you've made the complete rotation around because you can't see the verse mark, and then after a while, you forget how many times you've stamped the verse mark. So now I'm going to take. Um, a Hero Arts holographic embossing powder and I'm just going to pour it on there and the reason why I'm leaving it on the octagon is in case that um, I didn't get enough coverage I could go back and add some more Versamark and by heating it up heating up the embossing powder um, you're going to loosen that adhesive that's on the back of your cardstock so it will peel up way easier with the holographic embossing powder. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're done heating it so I did try really hard to make sure that it was all melted. And once it's done um, all you have to do is put it onto a um, card front. You can just leave it alone or, uh, or just add a sentiment like I'm going to do here. 
but this is so easy to make like a batch of thank you cards and you can change the colors but look at how perfect that center is I'm gonna add a sentiment uh, I don't know if I want to use the hero arts thank you sayings or the Simon says stamp stripe greetings I really do like that stamp set from Simon says stamps um, they just I've used them several times and what I'm going to do is I just took a little piece of scrap cardstock from when I cut my card base and I'm just going to uh, I'm going to stamp both sentiments out and then I'm going to choose which one I like the best I'm taking my um, powder tool and I'm just um, trying to put down as much as I can because I'm going to use white embossing powder and I really don't want that embossing powder to stick where I don't want it I'm going to take the hello sentiment from the Simon Says stamp set and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it down at the bottom um, it's just easy to do it that way because I'm going to trim it down into a little strip anyways I'm just going to use some Versamark and then I will um, flip the cardstock around and then I'll stamp the sentiment from the Hero Arts set by doing the same thing and I um, end up keeping both because I make a duplicate of the card and I just um, have one that says hello and I have one that says thank you so it's really versatile to just add any kind of um, sentiment to the front of this simple card. I plan to go back and look through all my stamp sets and find other things that would be interesting to do the same technique with. Um, I'm sure um, there's all kinds of things you can do. I, I remember a card class that I took and Jennifer McGuire um, used the same um, technique um, but with a different stamp set and she did a rainbow of colors and it was like a um, leaf stamp set I believe I the class was called his and hers which was a really good class about how to make the same type of card but make one masculine and then make one feminine and if you haven't taken that you should head on over to online card classes and um, check out the classes you can go back and you could do the classes at your own at your own pace but the videos are really good so now I'm going to mount my card uh, my card front onto my um, square card and it measures four and a half by nine with the crease in it it's just basically whatever size you have then you add like a quarter inch and then you double it for the length of the card so you could do this top folding or side folding it doesn't matter because it's a square card and I'm using some black foam uh, it's made by Ranger and it's basically uh, dimensional foam but it's black so it'll blend in really well with that little black strip now I'm going to uh, mount this onto my card um, and try to line it up uh, it needs to be pretty straight because um, if it's kind of off it's going to um, throw the throw the card off I think at least in my opinion um, I'm kind of OCD that way and so I'm gonna take my little ruler and I do like this one because it's got the tiny little squares on it and I've made sure that it's straight and now I'm going to adhere it to my card base and it's such a simple card and I hope you try the technique and I have another card coming up soon that's going to use the same technique but um, you'll see it's just kind of like a um, organized chaos kind of card so thanks so much for coming by and I hope you give this video a thumbs up head on over to my blog and be sure you subscribe so you get notifications on when I make new cards Thanks so much for watching and you have a blessed day. Bye.